and it's flaky with everyday gourmet. So I don't know about you, but I'm overeating. I'm overeating bad all the time, and I just want some like something healthy and flavorful and delicious. So I'm gonna show you a Greek chicken bowl. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna do some quinoa. I'm gonna marinate the chicken. Do a little tzatziki on the top. It's so easy, so good, delicious, healthy. I don't know exactly how to do it. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is make the marinade for the chicken. So I have, I just put in, in a little baggie here, some chicken. I'm doing chicken tenderloins. So you could do chicken thighs, breast, whatever kind you want, really. And this is just enough for two people that I'm doing. All right, so first thing, so I'm going to put the juice of a lemon right in here. So this marinade is also gonna double as, oops, the vinaigrette for the, um, the quinoa that we're gonna put it on. So we're gonna save a little bit of it. All right, so we have that in there, perfect. All right, so then to that, I'm gonna add some red wine vinegar. Right in here. I'm gonna do like a half a cup, probably. Perfect. I'm gonna do four cloves of garlic. Give it lots of flavor. All right, four cloves of garlic right in here. So then I have a bunch of fresh basil. I just got out of my garden. Up here. Beautiful. Put that right in there. I also have some oregano, which is very traditional Greek. All right, I'm gonna put some oregano on here. Perfect. Give us a nice good chop. delicious herbs and vinegars and everything are really gonna make this marinade special. So then we're gonna do a good amount of salt in here. I'm gonna do a bunch of fresh cracked black pepper. Like that. All right, we're gonna give this a good whisk. We're gonna put some olive oil in it. Some good quality olive oil. Now I have some Dijon mustard, so when I pour half a good amount of it in here, I'm gonna add a little bit of Dijon to this to emulsify it for later. All right, so have our chicken here. Open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour, like I said, a good amount of it in. That should be good enough. So about like, we're gonna keep like a quarter, like a half a cup of that left. You don't need too much of this to really penetrate those chicken tenders. Yeah, perfect, look at that. It smells delicious already. So we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. And then in here, whoa. And then in here, I'm going to add some Dijon mustard. So this makes a nice little vinaigrette. So we're gonna set this aside. Let that marinate for, I'm gonna say about an hour. Got all those good flavors in there. And then I'll show you the rest. How easy. All right, so I currently am heating up a pan here. And I'm also cooking right now one cup of quinoa with two cups of water. Just cooking it until it's almost done. All right, so that feels hot. Just put a little bit of olive oil in there. So I'm gonna add our marinated chicken right in there. Oh, it already smells so good. Make sure to kinda get all that liquid off. Okay, like that. this all the way through. Oh, 
so good. Oh my gosh. Alright, so those are going to cook up. I'm going to show you how to make the sauce that goes on top. So in here, I'm going to put a big scoop of yogurt in here. About a cup of it. Maybe a little bit less. That's probably good. And then, to that, I am going to do some fresh lemon juice right in here. About a half a lemon right in here. I'm going to do some fresh garlic. Let's say about, I'm gonna do, I like it kind of garlicky. So I'm gonna say three cloves or four cloves if you like it pretty garlicky, like I do. So then I'm gonna grate in some fresh cucumber here. Right in here. Just gonna make a quick tzatziki sauce. I like to grate it in here, just like this. Beautiful. You could also put mint in here, would be yummy. But I'm going to just do some fresh dill. I'm going to take some fresh dill, give it a nice chop, just like this. Oh, I love dill. right in here and do a big crack of pepper Just like that and do a nice pinch of salt right in here and then I'm just gonna give it a good stir mix this all together and set this aside And get all the other toppings ready. Perfect. How these looking? Right. Keep going. Okay, so our quinoa is done. The chicken is almost done. So we're just gonna add that little bit, that vinaigrette that we made right in here. I'm just gonna toss it. You don't want it wet, you just want it to kind of coat it a little bit. Plus when you add it when it's warm like this, it really sucks in that flavor. So, I'm gonna show you what to do. I'm going to do some of our quinoa right at the bottom here, just like this. I'll spread it around. I like to use a shallow bowl when I, when I do uh, quinoa bowls or farro bowls, anything like that. Just makes it look nicer. So then, I'm gonna take Turn these off, we're done. I have some fresh cucumber that I've sliced up. Got some red onion I'm gonna add. And I'm gonna take off my chicken. Beautiful. I'm gonna give it a little slice. I like to slice them up a little bit. So good. Just like this, perfectly cooked, juicy, flavorful, amazing. Put our chicken right on here, just like this. And then I have some of these beautiful tomatoes that I'm gonna put on here. Do some roasted red pepper because I love roasted red pepper. Just like this. Oops. And I have some little bit of feta that I'm gonna chunk up here. Some good feta too. So you could totally make the quinoa ahead of time, make it easier for you. This is also a great lunch to take with you to work. Okay, just like that. 
And then we're going to do a nice big dollop of this on here and some more fresh dill. And you have the best ever Greek chicken bowl. Can't wait to eat it. Okay, this is so good. I've already eaten like three quarters of it. I could not help myself because I was really hungry. And it just looks really good. So there you have my Greek chicken bowl. I hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet with Blakely for more delicious recipes and videos. Mm.